Hello friends, this is uh, Abhinav Bhargav and in this video we are going to see about Bharat Emission Standards. So recently government has decided to implement Bharat Standard 6 norms from April 1, 2020. And this policy is actually in line with our commitment at Paris Climate Change Conference as well as the public sentiments against raising air pollution in cities, especially the metros. So what is this BS standards and norms and all about? So these are the norms instituted by government of India to regulate the output of air pollutants from internal combustion engine equipment including the motor vehicles. And the standards and timelines are implemented by the Central Pollution Control Board under the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change. And the standards are based on European regulations which were first introduced in the year 2000. So let us see the current status of this emission norms. See currently BS4 norms are applicable in 33 cities in which the required grade of fuel is available and in rest of India we are still following BS3 standards. Now let us see some background about this. So in the year 1991 India introduced the emission norms for the first time. Then in the year 1996 the norms saw some tightening as government asked most vehicle manufacturers to incorporate catalytic converters mainly to cut the exhaust uh, emissions. And government also notified uh, fuel specification based on environ environmental considerations which were to be implemented by 2000. In the year 2000, government notified BS1 and BS2 standards which is equivalent to Euro 1 and Euro 2. Then in the year 2005, BS3 and BS2 fuel quality norms were introduced followed by BS4 and BS3 fuel quality norms in the year 2010. Here the main strategy was to reduce the sulphur content in the fuel and at engine level it augments some equipment which reduces the emissions. Here we should also know what does the auto fuel policy have to say. So the auto fuel policy of 2003 mainly aims at addressing issues of vehicular emissions and technologies and it encourages the use of CNG and LPG fuel and it gives a timeline for adopting the Bharat standards across the country that is BS4 by 2017, BS5 by 2020 and BS6 by 2024. Not only that, recently uh, government had constituted an expert committee under the chairmanship of Sri, Sri Samitra Chaudhary to draft auto fuel vision and policy 2025. Here the main recommendations are, it recommended nationwide fuel standards to be BS4 and proposed to move to BS5 from 2020 and BS6 from 2024. It recommended to upgrade the refineries and it recommended special fuel upgradation SSO 25 pies per litre on fuel to meet the cost. So if we compare Bharat standards with Euro standards, BS6 is equivalent to Euro 6 and India is following European emi emission norms with a time lag of 5 years. And here what are the challenges for implementing BS6 norms? The ma major challenge is engine, that is engine development firms have cited a technological challenge in implementing the changes, that is jumping directly to BS6 norms would give them little time to design changes in their vehicles. And why is it a challenge for auto firms to implement it? It is mainly because of two critical components which needs a fitment in the engine. And they would have to adopt to India's peculiar condition where running speeds are much lower than European Union and USA and industry estimates of required investment to upgrade from BS4 to BS5 are to the tune of around 50,000 crores. And the two critical components include the diesel particulate filter that is DPF and selective catalytic reduction module. Here DPF main function is to remove particulate matter from diesel exhaust. And the challenges include small cars with limited bonnet space would need major redesign to accommodate this DPF. And the temperature of 600 degrees Celsius is required to burn the suit in DPF which is difficult to achieve in India due to low driving speeds. And the selective catalytic reduction module, uh, here the main aim is it, it reduces the oxides of nitrogen with the major challenge is it need injection of aqueous solution into the system for which separate infrastructure is needed for the countrywide supply. So switching over to BS6 norms will reduce concentration of carbon monoxide, unburned hydrocarbons, nitrous oxide and particulate matter from emissions. And not only that it gives a positive impact on public health. And this is the basic information about Bharat Emission Standards. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel and thank you.